John, we're going to keep the storm alert at extreme. Most of the violent weather is mostly going away, but we still have serious concerns, serious problems with extremely heavy rain that has fallen really in two distinctive parts of the city. The first part of the city up in Oro Valley, the Catalina area, some reports of over two inches of rain. And yes, before all that rain came, we also had reports of some golf ball sized hail. Uh, that flash flood warning for places like Oro Valley in the northwest side of town till six o'clock. We still have a flash flood warning until 645. This mostly for the east side of Tucson. Once again, Reports close to two inches of rain with this cell as well. So uh, streams going to be on the rise for sure. Those washes that are normally dry going to be on the rise and uh, certainly going to see some flooded intersections. Please, if you see the barricades up, turn around. Don't round. Want to get away from those cones as well. All right, here's live Doppler. Things really starting to quiet down. There was that Oro Valley storm that looks a little bit weaker now. Certainly uh, still a couple of cells atop Mount Lemon and the Catalina Mountains moving through. This was that cell on the east side of town. Notice now we're mostly in that green zone as storms today do have a history of moving pretty well, courtesy of some steering winds high up in the atmosphere that are pushing those storms off at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, but still some lightning strikes up here at Mount Lemon. Light rain towards Sabino Canyon, northwest side of town, still seeing some showers. Most of that east side of town, don't let that green deceive you. Keep in mind, about two inches of rain has fallen in the wettest spots down there. As you make your way down on Tucson's south side of town toward the Mission, we're also seeing some. Let's just loop this an hour and look at that. Here's uh, Sabino Canyon rolling through Tanca Verde all the way along Tucson's east side of town. Let's go up to uh, points northeast. We got another nasty line of storms that is beginning to fire up across Arizona's high country, rolling in this general direction. So not necessarily out of the woods yet. Maybe that atmosphere is a little bit more stabilized, cooled down or warmed up, I should say, after those storms move through. But once again, can't sleep on these storms well off to our northeast. All right, let's see what's uh, happening in terms of the rainfall. As I mentioned, look at that up to 2.7 inches of rain, perhaps with that cell just in the north side of Oro Valley and then out here toward Tank of Verde, maybe excess of two inches of rain. Streets, yes, they are wet. This is the southeast side of town. This is Broadway and Wilmot. Thunderstorm being reported at the airport, 80 degrees, dew points at 66, winds out of the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. Okay, storm chances in the forecast. Yes, again, tomorrow, maybe only about a 30% chance. Daytime highs into the mid-90s, 40% chance of storms for Cochise and Santa Cruz County with those daytime highs into the 80s. All right, seven-day forecast rolls out like this then. Daytime highs below 100 all seven days, John, but those uh, storm chances start to dwindle down a little bit. 30% chance on Saturday and Sunday, so most of the weekend looks dry, but we can't uh, sleep on the fact that some afternoon thunderstorms may pop up again. Looks like a little bit of a downturn on Monday and Tuesday. So yes, late this afternoon, things certainly got active with some of that golf ball size hail with some 60 mile per hour winds mm. and a lot of very, very heavy rain. Yeah, in a short period of time. Very short. All right, Matt, thank you. We'll be right back.